Getting old and having shoulder pains. You are getting old. I am getting old. You're getting super old. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that about your spouse anyway, are you? <laughs> All right, let's kick this off, even though we're already kicked off. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome back. I'm Nathan. And I'm Willow. And we are The Cooks. And uh, welcome back to another More Than Before Marriage podcast. Uh, it's been a week since our last podcast. A lot has happened in the last week. Uh, what happened last week? Election? That happened last week? Oh, yeah. That was crazy. That was a stressful time for the country. No, huh? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you and your spouse were not on the opposite sides of the coin because that would be a very rough night, I would say. I don't know. Yeah. That would be really tough. Luckily, we're on the same Lots page. Lots of conversation, <clears throat> hopefully. Not we used heated. to not, we used to not be on the same page. We used You're to right. be on opposite political fighting battles. We did. Could you imagine us being on different sides of the coin at this point in at our marriage? At this point in in the world, well, and in this in our marriage, but we'd probably this, be killing each other right now. Yeah, that would not go over well. <laughs> Someone would be <laughs> strangled in their sleep by the other one. We won't say which one was strangling, but <laughs> one of us would not have a, a fighting chance. <laughs> But we are so excited to spend some time with you guys. Just as a quick reminder, we always want to edify and encourage you in your marriage that you're not the only ones that are going through something. We're going through a lot of stuff right now. We, you know, it's funny because every single week we say that we're going through a lot because we are. <laughs> and it's like we just keep getting more. Have you noticed that? Okay. Let's it, just not keep getting more. We'll just get to be talking about the things that we have experienced in the past. <laughs> Okay, fine. And then so so there's that point, but then also we want to be transparent, which kind of yeah. lends into that uh cuz we we truly do believe that transparent marriages change other marriages because when we're transparent with other people and we I've talked to people who've listened to the podcast, for those of you guys listening that you've messaged me and you're like, "Hey, like I really appreciate it because it's encouraging to my heart that we're not alone, that we're not the only ones struggling with a lot of these things. And so, you know, we don't want to just come on and air out dirty laundry. Oh, we're struggling. We're dying over here. Or like we know everything in the world. It's like we're going through these things. I know things. everything in the world. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but we, oh. but yeah, we, we want to be an encouragement to you. But we also want you to know that you're not alone in your marriage. Yeah. You're not alone in the fighting for your marriage together. But what exactly. are we talking about today? We're talking about praying. Ooh, praying. Specifically, the power of a praying couple. Exactly. Uh, what was it? It was probably six years ago when we were having some we were having some issues. Um, and we've talked about that before. And we had some good friends, the Gormans, who said, hey, you should read this book, right? Yeah. And we picked it up, A Power of a Praying Husband and a power of a, The Power of a Praying Wife. And we started reading it. And then we started realizing that we needed to actually start praying for each other. Yeah. <laughs> it, praying for just, everything else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was just uh, a reiteration of like, okay, this is this is really important. If I'm going to work on things, then this is definitely something to work on. <laughs> yeah, definitely so. And it's funny because, uh, <laughs> do you remember you were working at Safeway and it was like the first probably six months of us being married. And every single day before you go off to Safeway, be like, Lord, I pray that Willow would just have a, a great day that, you know, um, it, it would be smooth and that, you know, she would, it, what, what, what I would pray oh, like, yes. uh, that you just give her, that you give her patience throughout the day. And I kept praying this it, over and over. Every yeah. single time I prayed, you, you it, like, it was the worst day I ever. I would be like, you're setting me up for a disaster at work. Do you know that? Because now it's going to be so busy. <laughs> well, well, what's funny about that is you actually, it was, there was one morning where I was getting ready to send you off to work. And as I was sending you off to work, I was like, hey, honey, like, I want to pray over you. And I started to pray. And you're like, no, 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 please, please do not pray <laughs> for patience today i every single time you do that i have like the worst day please don't pray for patience <laughs> yeah so there's power guys don't that doesn't mean go start praying for your wife for patience because you're frustrated with her that's not how it works <laughs> but we wanted we wanted to talk about a couple of different things that we've kind of gone through in this cycle of praying for one another and really and really why it's so important i think that what i was just saying is really important because many times when we pray at least when I was younger, I'm a little bit older now, and I, I, I feel like I'm a little bit wiser, but I used to pray that um, Willow would change. <laughs> Lord, would you make her more nice, more patient? <laughs> would you make her love me more? <laughs> <laughs> and what's funny is that's not how prayer works, right? Right. 
Prayer works by praying and it changes your heart. Um, you could pray for your spouse, but ultimately it's your demeanor and how you approach your, your, your spouse, whether that's your wife or whether that's your husband, you know, Lord, help me to love them more. Lord, help me to lift them up more because I think so many times we pray to change one another. Yeah. And you know, that's God's work. He's doing work in your spouse, but it's that praying piece that you bring that conversation before God and like when you're saying things you're like oh this is encouraging to me this is a reminder for me i'm learning more when i'm (laughs) praying for something for you then um yeah it's just changing changes my heart to bring peace or even just change my mind about something yeah or see things differently just that like god will open my eyes to a different perspective if that's what it is yeah well it it kind of reminds me of the i mean we've been in we've been in services before where the pastor's like you know, hey, you know, one of you probably here needs to, to needs to hear this, and he's like, "Stop hitting your wife!" Like, <laughs> like, right? Don't be elbowing your wife. Like, this is for you because it's most likely for you if you're the one elbowing the other person. Like, oh, yeah, see, like exactly. you need to be more patient. You need to love me, right? Like, and that's yeah. and that's generally what happens. But prayer really does change our heart. It changes our heart towards one another, which is really impactful. When we started praying for one another, it was it was really beneficial for us, you know, uh, and it's funny because we pray, we like, I would pray for other things. And I think sometimes we just forget about our spouse. It's like our spouse is the last thing that we pray about. Like, Oh Lord, like my job is really hard right now. Oh Lord, my, my kids are driving me crazy. Lord, would you get me to the gas station on time before I run out of gas? And then at the end of the day, we're like, Oh yeah, uh, Lord, would you make sure they had a good day? Right. <laughs> it's like, it's usually like after the fact, after the fact. Yeah. Cause it's like, Oh, or even if things are going so well, it's like, oh, things are good. You know, oh, I forgot to pray specifically for you about something. But yeah. no, no, I need to pray every single day, all the time. Yeah, and the- I love that you say all the time because it's without ceasing. Yeah. You should be praying over your spouse without ceasing. So I, that that's a huge thing. So yeah. prayer definitely changes your heart towards your spouse. What else does what else have you found that prayer does for you when you're when you're praying for your spouse? So prayer aligns our heart with God's will. Yeah. So it's 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 praying for things that we desire too, but it's aligning those desires with God's will. And so I like the verse in Psalms. It's Psalms one Psalm one forty three, ten. It says, Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. So it's just uh I love that, just that you're praying for each other you're praying for one another but it's for god's will to be what kind of leads leads you on that path like yeah well with like kind of like with where we're at right now and we we both kind of have this feeling like possibly i'm being moved into ministry of some kind i don't know what that looks like and and in my head i'm like okay let's let's go let's go and you're like well let's pray about this let's figure out like what what are we what's our next step and and so it's it's kind of one of those things of like sometimes God will give you a vision for where he's taking you, but that doesn't mean you're acting on it right now in this moment. Yeah. And sometimes, I don't know, you you kind of have your own thoughts of where you want to go with your life. Like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to go over here and I want to, I want to do these things. And God, you know, when you start praying and giving those things to God, not only does it change your heart towards your spouse, but it also changes your heart towards God. You know, we were just lear- uh, we were reading in James even just today about aligning our prayers with God and how important that is for us to be in alignment with God. You know, why does God not hear our prayers? Because they're selfish, and yeah. and it's not it's not to seek Him, it's not to bless Him in His in His name. It's it's for our own glory. It's for our own stuff. So that's that's a huge yeah. important thing. Anything else on that point? Well, just the that piece of scripture. It's like even just reading through things through the Bible and you, you come across scripture. That's just, if, even if I don't know how to phrase something or I don't have the right words to say, it's like just praying scripture is encouraging. Well, and you never know what scripture might come to your head. And which is really cool because when you get into scripture and you start reading it more and more, Mm -hmm. you pray that the scripture is written on your heart. Right. Like you might be reading something and then as you're going through your day, maybe maybe you maybe you uh, have the passage, you know, teach me, oh, Lord, to number my days. 
And most people, when they read that, they're like, oh man, like I'm going to die one day. Or maybe you look at it from the different perspective of Lord, teach me to number my days because I don't know how many days that I have with my spouse or how many days that they have with me. And so rather than looking at that of like, oh man, it's another day of like, oh, this is another really great opportunity I get to spend with my spouse. Cause I never know, you know, yeah. something could happen, you know, when something happened to you earlier this year mm-hmm. and I was kind of left to my own devices, I was like, man, this would suck if you were dead. <laughs> like you're not allowed to die. I mean, you will be on life support and you will be, I don't even know what you're going to be doing, but we'll figure out something. <laughs> Elon Musk, we're gonna we're gonna put that chip in you, and you're, we're gonna oh dear. we're gonna fix you. I don't know. <laughs> oh, we have praying for your spouse changes your heart. Uh, praying also aligns your heart with God's will. The other thing of why it's so important for us to pray for one another is that it brings clarity in situations. Right? How how have you noticed that in our lives of how clarity kind of gets brought up and when we start praying for one another? Can you think of anything? So, I mean, I guess when we're praying about a situation, then it just gives us clarity on the direction where to go. It brings like a peace. Mm. If we're both getting the same answer, then it's just that clarity and peace from God that's kind of leading us in the same direction. Yeah. I and mean, that's that's a huge piece of like one of us might have peace and the other one might not have peace. Yeah. And it's it has to be we both have to feel peace in order to move forward with that. Like we go ahead. Well, I was going to say like it just and that helps us have less arguments or conflict about the certain situation. Like mm-hmm. what we're looking for houses, it's like, OK, we're both praying about it. And <laughs> if we both don't have peace, it's not like this huge argument of, well, why don't you want this one? Why do you want this one? Why don't you? It comes to just, OK, there's just not this is not the right one because we both have, don't have peace about it. Well, I laugh about that. I laugh about this because Willow was just this last week. She's like, I found this house. It's absolutely amazing. Yes. It's so good. I looked at it and I was just like, uh, no, I just yeah. don't like it. And you're like, what? You pushed back so, so hard. I'm so surprised. Like, why did you push back so hard? I'm like, I just don't like it. I don't have peace about it. And you're like, you don't have peace about it. <laughs> so, I mean, there are, there are times where one person gets peace and the other person doesn't. Yeah. That you kind of have, you still have to kind of go back and forth. Then I went back and I looked at the house and I was like, yeah, I mean, it's, I still just don't, I don't see us there. Uh, but the, the whole point of this is, are you both seeking God to be on the same page? Because I think sometimes we, like kind of going back to the first point of we pray that God's going to change the other person's mind. Like rather than saying, okay, God, like if, is, if this is what I'm, we're supposed to be doing, would you change my heart? If this is what we are supposed to be doing, would you, would you continue to uh, work on my heart to be able to communicate this in a way that my spouse gets it? Um, you know, it's funny because exactly. I, I, I always recall the, you know, and, and I've shared this story enough, so I know this one won't be robbed from me because I, you know, they always say like they, uh, it says biblically, you know, don't, <laughs> don't talk about, you know, your givings and those kind of things because, you know, you don't want those blessings robbed. Well, I've said, I've shared this a bunch of times, so it's, it's already been robbed. It's already gone. I know it's, I know it's out the window, but it reminds me of a, of a time a number of years ago where we had some friends and we were going out camping with them. And their car broke down and I, I just so happened to have money in my wallet and I was like, Oh, I just want to give it all to them. Like I, cause they'd driven up here, they'd driven a long way and they had, they had their whole family. And I was like, I felt horrible. Like, let's just, I was like, I feel like we should just give them all the money. We need help. <laughs> they, they needed help. Um, and I asked you, I said, would you pray about like what, what sounds like a good number to you? And I already had my number in my head and then you told me and the number was exactly the same. And we've had that happen a number of times. We've had friends that, you know, needed, needed Christmas gifts for, for their family that we, that we, I came to you and I was like, Hey, like, I feel like we should donate. How much, how many, how much do you think we should give? And we both came up with the same number. And that's a really, really strong strategy for both of you to both be praying on your own so that you can come together and check your notes. Because if you're not both hearing the same thing, it's most likely because you're both not on the same page. You're one of you is not seeking God's actual will for that circumstance. Yeah. So I think it really is important. So in terms of giving money, in terms of opportunities, investments, um, cutting out different activities with family. Like that's something we're trying to figure out right now of, 
you know, praying about whether or not we need to let the kids keep going with gymnastics. Yep. <laughs> Because it's an expensive it's sport. A, a very expensive sport. And yep. so looking at all these things and going, okay, let's pray about these. And praying that we both come to the same page, which is really powerful. Uh, anything else on that one? Nope. I don't think so. No? Okay. Uh, so things to... Well, actually, the, this is actually something that you implemented in our life um, way before I did. Because I would just pray for you. I'm like I, I know what she needs. She, this is what she needs to. Pr- I need to pray for this for her. <laughs> and then well, it was one. I don't remember. It was, I think it was like in the evening. I think I, you, I was like just frustrated with something, and you said, "Well, how can I pray for you?" I'm like, "I don't know." What do you mean? <laughs> Asking your spouse, "How can I pray for you?" is really important. How has that helped you? Well, it just kind of brings things to mind. Like, oh, I didn't know you were thinking about that, or. You are going through that. Maybe it's at work and I didn't know about it or bring some things to mind that I can be praying. Mm. Or so. or even things that I'm struggling with. Things that, yeah. And it also gives, again, that communication of that opportunity to share things that you're struggling with. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's funny about that too is I hate it when you ask me that question. <laughs> like even today, like I was just having a rough day with the kids. I'm like, oh, they're just not listening and it's driving me up the wall. And you're like, how can I pray for you? And I'm like, don't ask me that question. Like, in yeah. the back of my head, I'm like, don't ask me that question. I didn't say that to her. <laughs> so Don't come hunting me down. Like, you can't say that to your wife. Yeah. No. Uh, but it, what it does is when she asks me, how can I pray for you? It challenges me to actually think about the ways that I do need prayer. And if you can't ask your spouse for prayer for some of the most intimate things in your life that you're afraid of, that you're worried about, who are you going to share those with? I yeah. mean, yeah, you might want to go share it with your buddies, but your buddies, I mean, at the end of the day, your buddies are your buddies. They're going to, they got their own lives. They've got things going on. Your spouse is the one that's going to be there in your corner when you get home every single day. Yeah. And so exactly. it's super powerful to be, to be asking the other person, how can I pray for you? Yeah. And then also on the flip side, I just wanted to say that it's, so important to ask, but it's also important to not ask mm. because, um, like for example, today, like you said, the kids were not listening. Monsters. I, they were monsters, <laughs> and I could hear it downstairs when I was working, and I was just like, "This okay?" Like praying for peace and praying for that the kids would listen and be obedient. Is and- that why they got worse? Because you're praying for peace? No. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah. It's your I mean, fault. <laughs> it's your fault the kids got worse. No. <laughs> no, they got better. They did get better. I mean, it, that doesn't mean just because you pray for it, it's going to make it better. But yeah. it's just also that, you know, knowing or seeing what's going on in your life, just little things to to be praying for. Yeah. Um. Without asking, too, is is important. Yeah. I mean, you still want to pray for your spouse, even, even when you're not asking them for yeah. like, how can I pray for you? But you know, one of the, one of the other things I was thinking about when, when we were talking about this was, you know, asking the other person, how can I pray for you? It, it also is a good reminder to your spouse that, Hey, I know that I can't solve the problems and the weight of the world that's on you right now. Yeah. Like you can't make the decisions of like what I'm doing in my career and where I'm going and, and necessarily all the decisions that I have to make as, as you know, the father of the family. But for me to know that you're going to be praying for me for wisdom or praying for me through the situation helps because there's a lot of times as I don't know, for me as a guy, I always want to fix things. And so when you're like, oh, the kids are just acting out, I'm like, oh, I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them all. And, you know, (laughs) and it's one of those things where I have to remind myself that when you tell me what you need prayer for, it's not for me to try and solve the problem. It's for me to pray so that you have a different vision. So you have a different outlook on what's going on. Exactly. Which is super important. What are like. I wanted to give some examples for people of what specifically we pray for each other. Like, do you have anything specifically that comes up when you're praying for me? Yeah. I mean, just in general. Besides sanity and not killing our children. (laughs) Right. Pray my kids are alive when I get downstairs. No, I'm just kidding. kidding. Um, Just... Oh, what's that knock? What's that knock on the door? (laughs) Someone's someone's here. (laughs) Oh, geez. Um, Just in general, I mean, for your health, 
for being the leader. You're as great. I haven't been husband. praying for your health lately. I used to be, I start praying no for your wonder. Health. No, I'm just kidding. No, no wonder it's been going downhill. <laughs> Speaking of that shoulder pain. No. <laughs> oh, my arm really hurts tonight. I don't think I'm going to be able to massage that. Unless, no, just Unless. kidding. <laughs> um, so, what? So, health, uh, just being a leader of the family, um, what, like a spiritual leader, financial leader, just leading our family as the man, your friendships, peace. I was just going to give like one or two, but you're. Oh, well, I keep going. I'm like, <laughs> can you tell she prays for me a lot? Cause I need all the prayer I can get. <laughs> I need some prayer warriors. If you guys are out there, by the way, keep praying for me. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Apparently I do too. My list is short. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, you're on the short list. No, that means you're good. Right. Cause you don't have that much. The no, I got lots praying. of problems that you're not praying for. <laughs> Apparently, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> so, well, what are some what are some examples for women? Uh, for women or for you? Well, for me. <laughs> well, for like, the women of the world, like... I'm praying for. <laughs> Jeez. I By guess way, you're not guys, married to all guys, the women. Just so you know, just so you know, <laughs> that is a trap. When your wife looks at you, says hey, and says, "Hey, what are you praying for for uh, for the women of the world? What are you praying for for them?" <laughs> Do not answer that. It is a trap. It is they're trying to get you in a trap. No, uh, don't put yourselves in traps. By the way, you don't need to set traps for each other. You'll do that by yourself. <laughs> oh man, it's going off the rails. So some of the things, some of the things I pray for you, not all the gen, all, all the general women in the world, uh, but I think it could apply to other women. Uh, I think, or at least for guys and their wives, I think a, a lot of wives are anxious. They're anxious about a lot of different things going on in the world. And so praying for a peace in your wife's heart. I'm, I pray I pray for that a lot for you, um, that God would just give you peace throughout the day. Um, perspective, just a positive perspective to see the good in, in the world, to see the good in your life, um, for you to feel loved um, by the things that you experience for you to have more friends that you feel close with. Um, gosh, what, I mean, there are a lot of different things. I think the biggest thing that comes up is a confidence for you, a confidence in the things that you believe confidence in the things that you speak. You know, it's funny because over, you know, we've been married for over a decade now and I still remember early on in our marriage when you'd come to me when you had to write an email for work and you're like, does this sound okay? And even still to this day, like, I think today was the first time when you were texting back and forth with a friend for, uh, cause you were, you were setting up a, a dinner thing with our families. And it was the first time I think that you didn't come up to me and say, Hey, can you read this text to see if it sounds okay? <laughs> a text that she takes like 20 minutes to write. Well, sometimes like verbal communication is different from written. So it's like, does this sound rude? <laughs> but you also do that even with the, even with the spoken <laughs> word too. Like, Hey, well, I'm sometimes. having a meeting with someone. Does this sound stupid? If I say this, <laughs> I'm like, I think you're okay. But like clarity and confidence is a huge thing. Clarity, even, even clarity of like what your dreams are of, of what God has for you in your life. By the way, you should be praying that your spouse has clarity on their dreams and that God opens doors for those. Yeah. And yep. when God That's does open one. those doors, you got to be willing to step out in faith with your spouse on that. That's just a little side note I wanted to throw in there because I think, I think a lot of us don't actually talk about our dreams and what we want. Um, you know, we, we kind of get pigeonholed when we're younger and we get into careers and those kinds of things. And, we kind of lose heart with what we love and the things that we are passionate about. And so even creating that opportunity to pray for your spouse of saying, Lord, would you give them a passion, passion about something? If it's sourdough bread, Lord, I pray it wouldn't be, but if it is okay, let it, let it be a passion. Right. <laughs> um, I think that's a really big thing that, that we can do for one another as spouses to be praying for their, their vision, to be, praying for clarity, for confidence, all these, all these wonderful things. I think direction. it can go both ways. Yeah. Direction. Yep. Leadership is a big thing. I always, yeah. you know, you ask me, what, what can you pray for for me? And it's a leadership a lot of the time, just leadership of knowing what to do for our family. Cause half the time I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> You're not supposed to know that, but <laughs> I don't feel like I know what I'm doing. Do. You know. I feel like that's, that's pretty common though. Most guys are trying to figure out how to lead their families and guess what guys, you're not alone. You're not alone. But Hopefully you have a spouse that prays for you, prays for your leadership, but also encourages you in your leadership too. 
Uh, the last thing that I have here that I wanted to bring up in terms of uh, the power of a praying couple is praying for one another on your own, but also praying together as a couple. Because I think sometimes, I think we can get kind of into both of those. We can yeah. either get into the, okay, I pray for my spouse all the time, but I don't need to pray with them. Um, there have been times where you're just having a rough day and I just walk in, I put my hands on you and I just pray over you verbally pray over you. I'm not yeah. like in my head, like praying over you. And you're like, why is your hand on my head? <laughs> like what are you doing? Are you Taking a nap? To, is this some kind of control move? Like what's that? No. At the end of the day, we really do have to pray for one another and pray over one another. And that was something that we had to learn how to do. Like, we, like yeah. we, we would pray together during, you know, like Bible study where we would, we, we pray together and then we read our Bibles and we talk about it. Like we've done that since we first got married, but then going a step further of just randomly throughout the day of just praying for one another of like, Hey, let's pray over this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's a, that's a huge one. Yeah, definitely. It just definitely encourages each other, one another. That's huge. Yeah. So running back over our list here, unless there's something else that you wanted to add that kind of came to mind as we were kind of talking about this. Not so much. Nope. All right. Well, so we need to be praying for our hearts to change uh, towards our spouse. We, oh, and then we also need to be praying for alignment of our hearts with God, praying for clarity over situations, and then um, asking how you can pray for one another as a couple. And lastly, are you praying together, period? Pray together, but also pray for one another when you're not together. I think it's a really important thing. I think there's a lot of things that we can learn from loving one another, lifting one another up in prayer. And, you know, when we were in the rough, really rough patches, we, I mean, we still go through rough patches here and there. Like right now it feels like a rough patch because we're tired and we're, we're grumpy all the time because our kids are crazy because they're growing up and they've got energy to expend and now it's raining outside and it's dark all the time. <laughs> <laughs> They're stuck with me. <laughs> yeah, waiting for the sunshine. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it really is important for us to be on the same page, to be praying with one another. So we really appreciate you guys jumping on, spending some time with us. Uh, it's always great to know that there are people out there that are hearing the words that we have to speak and that they're benefiting from them. So we would love for you to leave a comment. Let us know what you liked about this episode. You can shoot us a text, but put it, put a comment in YouTube or put it on the app. I don't know. But anyway, until next time, remember to be more, be more and experience more together. together.